Welcome to CGM's Google SketchUp tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to show you some basic tools of uh, 3D navigation. Also how to move an object and how to copy an object. But um, first we'll start with some basic navigation. And here we have some navigating tools down here. The main ones that we use are the zoom tool the pan tool and the orbit tool. The orbit tool allows you to move around in the 3D environment like so. The pan tool however just moves around without orbiting. And then the zoom tool wow allows us to zoom into an object and out from an object. If we use a mouse that has a scroll wheel we can use all these tools together quite effectively to move around. If we push down on that scroll wheel called the scroll button we enter the orbit If at the same time we press down the shift button, and this is the same time where we're still holding our finger on that scroll button, we're in the pan mode. And then, if we want to zoom, we use the, the roller wheel to zoom in and to zoom out again. Those are the three primary tools that we use for navigation. And when you have a bit of practice with these tools, you can quite move around quite efficiently. And it's, it's, it's very effective for, um, for navigation. That are the primary basics of moving around in uh, SketchUp. So, including this um, tutorial, we want to look at the possibility of also being able to move a component, uh, being able to rotate the component, and um, being able to copy it also. So if we select it and we take the move tool, we actually get the option of these red squares which allow us to rotate it. And we can rotate it through. If we type 180, it will rotate through 180 degrees, such as it has. We can still move this whole thing, and it's just a matter of uh, you take a point and you move along along that point that you you've uh, chosen here you can see that we're pulling it along the green axis and uh, if you go up here you, you'll see that uh, we're pulling it along the red axis so you know that uh, sometimes to look out for these colors that you're pulling it in the direction that you want to copy it while we're moving it, we press control and here we have a copy. So this is the exact same disk, just a copy. We can also do that in a way that we can create an array. So again, we select start to move. We copy one side by side and then we want five of these so we type in X5 enter and now we have all together six tables lined up in a row. 
can also do it in a way that uh, we want to space them out between uh, within a certain area. I'll give you an example. That uh, we move this one here and we move this one here. And between that we want another two. So what we do is we type forward slash down the bottom right hand corner there, we type three. And we get another two in the middle just like that. We can also do that with the rotation tool. This is another way we can rotate our objects as well. So if we select that and uh, we'll get a, a good look from above here. And we will change that parallel projection so that's more like a 2G project, two dimensional projection when we're in this view. And we can choose that as our pivot point. Yeah, we start to move that. As we start to move it, we can press the control and here we go. We've got two disks which we want to have. Maybe you want to have another four, so we will type in X five. Whoops. That was wrong. I typed in X fifty seven. <laughs> we'll take that away. And We'll try that again. So we're going to select our disk. We're going to select and rotate pivot point object copy. Take a copy of that one. X5. Enter. And there we go. We have six six discs nicely in a horseshoe circle. And that is um oh well, that is some of the basics of moving objects around and copying and rotating our objects.